Hello tribe, welcome back to my channel. So today we're bringing back one of the topics I do from time to time, the unexpected. So something that you might not see happening in the future, something that you might need to know about, heads up, etc, etc. So pile number one is on your left, pile number three is on the right. If you need some more time, stop the video right here. I'll catch you in timestamps. <laughs> Hey, pile number one people, let's see the unexpected, what you might not see happening for you. We have a mistake, we're going to be clarifying these cards. We have journey. I wanna put it here, will you stand? And then we have family. So let's pull tarot and let's see how these oracle cards and also the envelope ties into your reading. And I'm using the Triple Goddess Tarot. Pile number one, people. The unexpected. We have the Moon, the Queen of Swords. We have the Hermit. Let's clarify the mistake. We have the Page of Cups. We have the Six of Wands. Bear with me, I'm switching decks. Let me adjust the camera slightly for you. Okay. So what I'm getting, I'm clarifying the mistake card with the page of cups, the six of wands and big happy changes and forgiveness. Now, um, something that you thought about before that is going to be either ruined or you won't make something happen specifically regarding family or younger people or children or school, anything to do with that. Someone who is not as knowledgeable, someone who is youthful. Um, maybe you have kids yourself. If you are really afraid to make a mistake regarding that situation or family endeavor, your cards are actually saying there is no mistake. There won't be any mistakes. One mistake that people can do in panel number one if they work too hard and they forget to have quality time with one another. That would be a mistake. Because if you look at the, your cards, it's very connected. You have here, there was family enjoying themselves by the waterfall, the river, right here. You have the six of wands. This woman is having a blast with children. Now this could be your inner child. It doesn't have to be a family if you don't have children. Mistake would be sitting in the same routine and doing the same thing all over again. Because you're going to be naturally very drawn to spending time um, either around younger people or you're going to be really drawn to take a journey that your inner child wants to take. 
And I feel like that journey will bring big happy changes. This might be a last moment kind of decision. I'm sensing at a time when you'll need a break, at a time when you need to retreat, at a time when you need to rebalance yourself. There might be a situation where you'll feel very drained or tired and that's going to trigger a need for you to go and explore. Or go and see family unexpectedly. Maybe that was um, you plan it a couple of days in advance. But overall, what I'm getting here, a mistake would be not to have fun, not to forgive. This is for someone particular, not to forgive a family member or yourself. You may expect a trip that is going to be bonding people together regardless if you have a family or not. You may expect progress, you may expect more balance in your families. I'm seeing people working really well together. I'm seeing people spending really nice time together. I'm seeing them discussing about the future endeavors. Spending time in nature will be important. What you don't see is that through some sort of struggle, especially when it comes to self-worth or if you tend to doubt yourself quite often, you're going to make a decision to somehow either relax and just get away and it's going to be a best thing, a best decision ever. Because that trip feels very fresh to me. That trip feels very eye-opening to me. For others of you, I'm also getting... And this is very particular, so this is not for all of you. You're getting a job in a school, in a university, or working with people who need your help who need your knowledge and need your expertise. And these people can be slightly younger than you. Those who do not have um, your own family is what I'm getting. You may be very drawn to going on a solo trip. And just rewind, rewind. And maybe you are the person who's like, I'd never be able to go somewhere solo. I know a lot of you do, uh, my followers, but um, there are some people who are like, I'd never be able to do that. That's why it's gonna be unexpected. You're just gonna decide to go somewhere and you will freaking love it. What are the big happy changes about? What are the big happy changes about? Let's see. I'm seeing that someone is able to resolve conflict with one particular person. Someone is not choosing to fight anymore. This is for people who had issues with someone lately. One particular relationship and it feels like a family member or someone that you would consider your family or soul family. Um, if you had an issue with them, we are seeing improvement in relationship. We can be a team again, I'm hearing. Yeah. Strengthening bond with people in your surroundings is what is happening next. And particularly going somewhere and experiencing life together, especially experiencing nature or some doing something that is physical, maybe uh, would it be kayaking, would it be camping, anything like that will bond people together and you're going to come back with beautiful memories. You might even make it a tradition later down the line. There's something very unexpected about the uh, place that you go to. 
maybe you go with no plan you just go in and you go okay if I if I see a really nice um, piece of land I'll just go there or if I'll feel intuitively I gotta stop and look at this lake I'll I'll stop it feels very fresh and it feels very spontaneous to me and someone may uncover a place that they want to keep coming back to Yeah, see, I, I told you, at the time when you'll feel tired, exhausted, or you'll, you're just going to have that push to get out of the house, to leave, you are then discovering what is out there. And that somehow escalates big happy changes for you. So something that doesn't go maybe... A, the way that you want it to go at first and you think that it's a mistake it's actually leading you it's bittersweet um it's actually leading you towards a much better much more balanced life or routine some of you might decide to move out because i'm, I'm picking up that someone might be living with a person or people who drain the fuck out of them and the next thing that is happening, someone is literally moving out. This is very particular, so this is not for all. Oh, that is a sign. A dishwashing liquid. It tipped because I put it upside down because it's about to finish. And it knocked down the knife. So, since we had this incident in this reading, incident, we can call it incident, um, and I was talking about this card in particular. Look, she left her house so quickly that she even dropped her belongings. She's like, I'm out of there. A lot of people will find themselves um, leaving an environment that has drained the fuck out of them. And it might not be super uh, planned. It might be just like, you know, I'm on my last string. I gotta go. Maybe I don't know exactly where I'm going. I just know that I just need to leave that space. To leave that house, to leave that job, to leave that relationship. And then once you do, I'm only talking to those who are in a difficult situation here. When you do, you find yourself connecting on deeper levels with people that you haven't even maybe met, you haven't known before. New people coming into your life. Or you're working in a team of new people here who are supportive, who feel like a good team, who educate one another instead of bashing one another. It's a very interesting vibe because it feels like in pile number one, I was talking to like five different people, but hopefully this made sense. What to expect. And I feel like this is happening around the corner. We have two of wands. Yeah, I split the deck. We have the eight of wands. It's happening soon. So expected maximum within the next couple of months, I'm feeling. I hope this was beneficial, tribe. And until the next time, bye for now. Hello, tribe. Whoever has chosen pile number two, let's see what we have for you. We have mature woman from Steampunk Kipper. We have something false, and we have an author. You have a book inside of you that wishes to be expressed. Make the time to write it. And the deck that I'm going to be using for you is the Textured Tarot. Okay, damn, it's already flipping. We have the Nine of Cups. The Unexpected, my people. We have the Five of Swords. We have the full. Let's clarify the something something false card. Four of cups.
cups. Mm -hmm. We have seven of pentacles on top of nine of cups. We have the chariot on top of the, <laughs> I like this actually, the five of swords and we have the queen of cups on top of the four. Let's clarify the mature woman. The two of swords and the king of wands. Let's clarify the author. We have the magician. Okay, let me sit with this. Okay, pile number two, people. What I'm seeing happening here is someone who is very focused on working towards their dream. And you're being shown as someone who is very patient with Seven of Pentacles, trying to bring it to reality. And because you have the magician clarifying the author, you can write what is happening next. You understanding, because you had limitations before. I clarified this something false with the Four of Cups. This is us thinking that something is out to get us, something is working against us, taking something too seriously or taking something too personally. And that is not the case here. Maybe you thought that the world is out to get you or it's not going to happen the way you want it to happen. Basically, there were a lot of lies because you created that for yourself by being in a situation that maybe wasn't moving as fast as you wanted to or maybe you needed to tweak something. And that's when we sit in the Four of Cups and we go, okay, this is shit, that is shit, it's not as good as I think, it's not going to happen. Now, so we're stepping out of this, okay? We are re we're looking at opportunities instead of neglecting opportunities. Because when we are in that mood, or in that mode, <laughs> um, uh, we step into that victimhood mode and we start saying no to a lot of things because we just may be angry, we are tired, we want to see results, we are impatient. So instead of neglecting opportunities, what's happening next, you're becoming more motivated, more driven because you shift in your reality somehow. And you're stepping into the magician. And magician has all the tools that he needs on that table to make shit happen. So you're realizing next that you can write a book of your life however you want to. It is up to you how your life is going to go next. And I'm seeing someone literally sitting down and saying, okay, I live here now, I have this, I work in this job. If I could write a book, not based on my life right now where I'm at, not projecting from the current reality, what would it look like? So this is very interesting and it's very, uh, very strong reading here because someone is literally overcoming some sort of an obstacle their brain has created. And I really feel like for pile number two, you may expect your life go 360 in the next half a year or so. The same way we have the author card, we have the Seven of Pentacles here where this guy is looking at all of these paintings and he's like, hmm, which one do I want to choose? Which one does represent me? So you're realizing that you have choices and you can have not only maybe one wish coming true, but multiple wishes. You're not limiting your yourself anymore. If you wanted to work on one particular maybe hobby, business, career path, your mission, you're investing your energy into it. 
you are not moaning you are doing and therefore you surround yourself with people who are the same they don't have time for that shit okay yes if something didn't happen the way i wanted it to or the way i planned it means that something has to be tweaked you may be even feeling much more inspired because there's gonna be a point where you will feel conflicted within um, or you will feel fearful what if i chase that bird and i fall off the cliff cliff these two cards by the way are very similar the fool and the five of swords in this deck if you can see what if what if what if and you're not doing that anymore you go hopping onto a fucking chariot card i realize that i am in control of my future outcomes so how do i want to write my life what is my life story going to be like and you may surprise yourself because you're going to take a risk in the future but it's going to be a very intuitive one you're going to be intuitively guided to do something in other people's um in other people's eyes something super risky or something that's super spontaneous but deep down you know that you are the, the person who needs to step in the shoes of a fool without me exploring i will never know what i can get without me trying i will never know what i can achieve it's enough of me sitting in this energy i don't want to come back to it anymore that was a false reality so i'm stepping into the magician there might be a a mature woman somehow influential here but for a lot of you I feel like this is your energy I wouldn't be surprised if these people in panel number two um, changed completely their lifestyles um, and started traveling quite frequent frequently or quite often maybe your soul craves for travel craves for experience in different places locations that's what drives you that's what drives the king of wands as well as finding what kind of job he likes to do and really giving a hundred percent into what he does meeting new people through travels trying new foods and maybe then at the end of your journeys, even though I feel like they will never be ending, it's, a, it's that continuous cycle that you will want to be in, maybe then you're going to write a book or you're going to write a vlog or blog. Sorry, you're gonna write a blog or do a vlog or you're going to start documenting your travels or documenting the time when you switched from this mentality this mindset to the magician mindset and what started happening in your life then and you will want to share it with other people quite an interesting story pile number two if you need more content i have patreon if you want to join me there and for the rest of you have a beautiful week until the next one bye Hello my tribe, so let's see what we got for you. The unexpected, let's check, what is that? No idea. We have not now, we have stress and fear, we have trust. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Let's see, I'm going to be using the triple goddess tarot and let's see what it's got to say. Let's clarify the not now to start with. Mm -hmm. 
Mm -hmm. Let's clarify the stress and fear. Mm -hmm. Okay. And let's clarify the trust. Okay, let's get a story now. Let's see what is happening next. of cups is clarified by the moon let me adjust the camera slightly for you these are your subconscious fears guys that is coming up to the surface because i clarified the stress and fear asking if we can expect any stress or fear because sometimes we we do as humans create that um and we have the ten of cups which is already telling me that this is not reality that's not going going to happen we just sit in that energy and especially when the five of cups is clarified by the moon these are internal fears that are not manifesting into reality so what you think may happen that is not advantage advantages to you is not actually happening in the future Yeah. Dream state, dream state. Bottom of a deck, Knight of Cups, and what is your advice here? The lovers and Okay. Bottom of a deck, the full. I'm getting this push and pull energy. Now, this might not be everyone's pile because I'm going to be specific and I don't want to make this reading super abstract. Yeah, split the deck, the eight of swords. Um, what's happening in the future, you're realizing that you are the one who's holding yourself hostage. And I believe that some of you may want to go and talk to either a holistic healer, a therapist, a psychiatrist, a psychologist to deal with your fear. Or to deal with thoughts, realize what's the origin, where it comes from that you feel maybe super anxious, stressed, paranoid even for some people. You want to discover, look at this page. This page has just discovered something on the beach. Discover where those fears come from. And why you, or maybe dealing with someone like that, you are someone builds walls so high up with nine of wands and seven, seven of wands that they don't let in warmth into their life. What is it that is keeping me away from happiness? I want to understand that. Why do I not allow myself to be happy? And the unexpected event is that you're actually finally doing something about it by placing yourself in an uncomfortable situation, maybe by facing it, by seeking for help, and by gaining more trust in where you're walking, where you're going towards to in life. Trusting your inner guidance a little bit more. And some people kept postponing, 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 doing something that they wanted to do or living the life they wanted to live because they were overwhelmed by emotions that are created 
by their thoughts and those emotions were weighting heavy on someone's shoulders. So that realization acts like freeing someone from prison. I can finally breathe, but I really need to change something about my life in order to escape that prison. I need to stop and I will stop being fearful about new people maybe who want to walk into my life or new opportunities. Because every time something good is about to happen, I get stiff. Why? This is not normal. I'm supposed to be happy. I'm supposed to be dancing and celebrating good things happening to me. So I wanna really crack the code and see what is the problem here. So let's see, I wanna see what happens next then. What happens next once we face our fear? Um, we never truly ready as people. We, everyone feels fearful to some extent. Some people choose not taking action because they allow fear to control them. Other people feel the fear and go for it anyway and see what happens. And I feel like that's what you're stepping into. Okay, let me see. Mm -hmm. Let me see. Knight of Pentacles. Eight of Wands. I'm seeing someone communicating with a person either online, sending an email, sending a message, or receiving a message. Mm -hmm. Slowly but steady, we are walking away from... I don't want to be overly specific here, but let's tune in a bit. Let's tune in. What are you leaving behind? What? Okay. You're leaving a situation that was stealing your happiness from you. That was taken from you more. Or mindset that was taken and draining you more than given something back. And there might be a strong feminine energy who is going to be guiding you or who might be influential in this case. Yeah, someone is waiting for a message. So maybe you've sent a message in email, you're waiting for news to get back to you, someone to get back to you with news maybe about a, co a connection about a contract how will you take those news how will you take those news deep down you already know what is the outcome of the situation what you're going to be told you might even hear, um, seek for guidance from a psychic. What is happening next? You are being prepared to make a life changing decision. For some people, it's again connected to the way you operate, the way your system operates, and you want to change that. That's going to be a life-changing decision to start working on that. Because everything then falls into places, and you become slightly different human being. You're not as 
drained, you're not as stressed, you're not as paranoid. For others, you are seeking for help from a professional and that helps you make up your mind or they somehow guide you through this change. You're highly protected here with the two of wands. I'm looking at the um, deal in the background. There is a spirit that is watching over you at this time. And also here in this Hierophant card, she has a strong connection with animals. What is going to be improving next? Because it feels very life changing here. It feels like almost as if you become a new person because of a decision that you're making. What is improving next? What is improving next? Your environment or relationship with a female, but it can be a relationship with yourself. What is improving next? Yeah, there's something to do with formalities and documents here. Um, you're hearing the news, maybe you're looking for approval and you are stressing over that. Maybe you are looking for something to be stamped or for a document to get back to you so you know what is the outcome of a situation. And this official card sits in a place of what is improving next. So any formalities, documents, um, news that you are getting regarding that, it's to your advantage. But someone was stressing over this big time. Or someone maybe had a dragged out stressful period of time where they became the stress, they became the fear. And the time is coming to end this. The time is coming to end this. The time is telling us that it's enough hiding. I don't know what it means to all of you here, but it's enough of hiding. Allow this transformation in your life to take place so that you can start fresh, new and inspired. You are reclaiming passion. You are reclaiming your energy and a spark in your life. And for some of you, I really want to say you might be even becoming somehow independent. <laughs> Freedom, yeah, the sun card. Happiness from dark space we're stepping into a light space, but there are steps to get there. What is the advice here? What is the advice here? Get enough sleep. Make sure you get quality sleep. Go to sleep earlier. Maybe don't eat just before bed. Try meditation or self-hypnosis. What is the advice here? Yeah, come out of your head, guys. This is working against you. People, when they are really stressed by an event in their life or they stressed because of changes that are about to happen, what does stress really do? Does it change anything? Does it change anything? No, it fucks up a lot of things, actually. Drains your energy. It can even influence outcomes. The more you think about something obsessively, oh my God, I'm going, I'm going to screw up. You invite that. So you're stepping into a more lighthearted state and your cards are actually asking you to let go of... I'm seeing a rope. Someone is holding onto a rope, but their hands are bleeding already. What is that representation of a rope in your life? Because it's got to go. You got to let go of that rope and start healing your hand, your palm. And that is what's happening next. You're letting go of that rope. Some people might be dealing with a person or a situation that 
has controlled them for a really long period of time and what is happening next, you're done. You're walking away from it. Yeah, split the deck, independency. Independence. Stepping into independence. Would it be emotional? Independence, would it be financial? Because there was some sort of control that was placed on you that you don't want anymore and you're like, sayonara, bitches, I'm done. I trust my path, wherever it takes me. It's much better than where I'm at now. So very particular pile, definitely not for all of you. Super intense energies. Hopefully this made sense. If you need extra content, I have Patreon, you can join me there. And I have a second channel now that's based on relationships, human interactions. Everything is down in the description box and I will see you in the next one, my tribe. Bye for now.